I'm recording this on my phone because uh, I was going through my footage and I realized I accidentally deleted a few footage. So, my bad. Look at these things. Look at these things. I just got done my, uh, my signing the forms and stuff. Uh, I forgot to vlog it because for some reason my lens keep fogging up. I don't know why it does that. But anyways, I want to complain about these fucking geese. See these guys? Why do they act like they own the fucking block? You always see them strutting around and honking like they own But they don't. They don't run this I wish that they were like legal to hunt or something. I would get into hunting for the sole purpose of hunting geese. That's how much I despise these disgusting creatures. They shit everywhere. They walk around like they're top They're not. All right, anyways, that's it. I'm gonna walk back home now. I'll probably get something to eat while on the way. Ah, it's so hot. Oh my God, it feels so nice in my house. This has turned into a mukbang now. Bro, just getting my car figured out is the most annoying process ever. First of all, I wasn't at fault this time. This accident happened because I was driving in a two lane, right? I was driving on the left and the guy was driving on the right. The guy decided to turn into the left parking lot from the right lane. Who the f does that? Anyways, he turns, and as he's turning, I'm going straight from the left lane, right? I just end up coming from behind him because he didn't check his blind spot. Then we collided, and he's saying that I was trying to overtake him. That's that's his story, so I'm 50% at fault on this case. But I've been trying to dispute that for almost two weeks now. I've been calling my insurance every day. They're trying to get a hold of the other guy, but the other guy's not picking up. We'll see how it goes from here. My car might be a total loss, so that's that's annoying too. Over a stupid crash like that. No, I don't wanna... That's good. I don't know if it is actually good, or if I'm just hungry. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hit the spot. Hold on, hold on. I know, I need a haircut, all right? I realize my vlog is kind of short, so I'm just gonna give you my thoughts on relationships. One of my worst fears is to end up alone, but at the same time, I don't really wanna be in a relationship. So I end up pushing away not only just potential mates, but also everybody in my life, and I end up alone. I mean, I can bear with it now, but when I'm 50, <laughs> I can't. I don't want to be alone. I just don't like relationships because they're messy, they have a lot of emotions, and they're a distraction. At least, that's how I see it now. But honestly, I think that's just an excuse because I have no game whatsoever. I won't lie. I won't lie. I like using that excuse. I'm just focusing on myself right now and my goals. No, you're not, dude. No, you're not. Half the time, I'm laying in my... Half the time, I'm laying in my bed right here just watching YouTube. Just binging YouTube all day. That is not work. What am I doing with my life? I think the truth is that I'm afraid of getting into a relationship because of the false expectations that come with it. Before you start dating someone, you go through a whole process of analyzing to see whether or not they're a good fit for you. You decide on a partner based on what they can do for you. And when they don't meet those requirements, then they're not a good fit. I understand that has to do with like, I guess, nature and stuff, but can you really call that love? Especially in a world like today, where everyone just seems superficial, you just don't know what's real anymore. And I think because of this mindset, I just have a hard time connecting with anyone anymore. Is it toxic? I mean, probably a little bit. I find it really hard to just find that spark for someone. And I'm not sure why. Even when I have something in common with a girl, my conversations always end up feeling pointless and fabricated. I just can't seem to find that spark for anyone, no matter how hard I try. Because believe me, I've tried. Sometimes you just need someone to hold that night. <laughs> okay, that was, that was so cheesy. But I guess when the time is right, you'll find the one. I don't know if love is real, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to hold on to that belief. That's basically it.